Hi, I'm Dr. Newhouse with Explain the Pain. I want to talk to you today about children's heel pain. The most common cause of pain in children is what we call Seaver's disease or calcaneal apophysitis. You've probably read about that already. We've got some good information on the website. What calcaneal apophysitis is, is inflammation of the growth plate. It's the most common problem in children that I will see in my office. Typically it shows up between 8 and 12 years of age. What, what it's caused from is from the bones and the muscles not growing at the same pace. There's a growth plate, uh, a growth plate meaning the bone grows from two separate areas and there's a small area of cartilage which is what we call the growth plate in between the growing bones. That on the, is attached on the back of the heel to the Achilles tendon and the soft tissue on the bottom, the plantar fascia. That pulls and as it pulls and moves because the soft tissue is tight, that cartilage gets inflamed and that's all it is, is inflammation of the growth plate. But it can be very painful, especially in children who are very active. Soccer players, basketball players, football, cleats tend to aggravate this problem. There's usually a little cleat in the back of the heel and it'll rub up on that spot. So what do you do for it? A gel heel pad can work great for uh, Seaver's disease or calcaneal apophysitis. Stretching is key. Doing our stretching exercises using a stretching band will make a big difference. Ice will be very helpful. Uh, using something like an air heel is very, very helpful. That's something that I've used on my own children is an air heel. It's very well tolerated. They, you'll know that, that it works because they want to use it. Um, other things that will help are a night splint in very stubborn cases. Some cases require medication and other things where you need to see your doctor. But the majority of calcaneal apophysitis will resolve with a couple, two, three weeks of treatment using simple stretching and support techniques. So you can find those on the website. I hope that's helpful. hope that explains the basics of what calcaneal apophysitis is or Seaver's disease.